आपकी बीमारी भयानक बीमारियों में से है और हमने हर तरह की जो बेस्ट दवा है हम इसमें The data entry on a particular uh, uh, EMR that uh, we have created, in which the same thing that we are doing, we used to write it on a piece of paper. This may disappear. Now it will be a permanent record for future reference. आप ऐसे करेंगे, ऐसे करेंगे, यहाँ को पीछे ले जाएंगे, इसको यहाँ रख लें, बिल्कुल नरम छोड़ दें. Examining the shoulder, shoulder movement, shoulder tenderness. And swelling, examining the elbow, elbow swelling, elbow tenderness. P. And as you can see, she has swelling and tenderness in the first MCP in the right hand. The second MCP is also swollen and tender. The third one is swollen and tender. And Prashant is clicking it away. So finally we will immediately get the dash back without having to do all those calculations. The fifth MCP is also solid and tender. Interphalangeal is okay. First PIP right side is okay. Second is fine. Third is fine. Fourth is tender. You can see that she has minced. I now go on the other side. Examine the shoulders, shoulder range of movement, tenderness and swelling. Go for the elbow, range of movement, swelling and tenderness. Go on the wrist joint. Go for the MCP. Interphalangeal. Left interphalangeal looks as if it's swollen, but it's not tender. Third MCP is swollen and tender. First PIP left is swollen and tender. Third PIP left is swollen and tender. Fourth is tender. I go on the knees. Of course, ideally she should be. Uh, if I now let us see. We can with these values we can get her dash 28. We can get her CDI both. 5.97 is dash 28. Dash 28 comes 5.97, and the computer will say when you go to the um, face sheet. Disease in full relapse, already the, the message has come. If we change it to CDR, let us go to DAS 28 form, just click it here and make it CDR. And uh, save it and now go to the front page. High activity. Still it remains high disease activity. So in spite of the fact that ESR was there or not there, you still get the value which will be then used to decide upon the type of treatment. That this patient, therefore, if within a few seconds we have been able to assess her completely. This is now permanent record for future reference. Thank you. We will like them to see them in the sequence. This is the crux of proper clinical evaluation in chronic illness. Take a diabetes or hypertension or any chronic illness. Rheumatoid is no exception. And if you have an EMR like this, where without any additional wastage of time, automatically all the, the, the findings, all the investigative findings are going on in a chart in the, in the EMR that you can always revert back and see. It helps a lot. And this is where I think is the winning point of EMRs. And you can always go back and see how was the patient and how is the patient now and compare and do the right thing. Finally, I'd like to say the crux of proper treatment in any chronic illness is objectivized assessment. That should guide the treatment, not your gut feeling. 
And unless you do objectivized assessment, gut feelings will go on and on and patient will never become all right and you will be just guessing about treatment. On the other side, if you do objectivized assessment, you have a target to achieve. In her case, the target is 2.4 dash 28. And we will keep on modifying, adding, subtracting medicines and therapy till she achieves complete remission. Thank you.